you almost done? Oh no, you're not in my life. Where is my notes? So look in your bathroom. Hey guys, I am super late. Super late. I was supposed to be on at 7. We had some issues. Let me get that together. Okay, let me share this real quick. Can you guys share this that's on here already? Here we go. I'll never know what I'm doing. <clears throat> okay, maybe I need to do it for my computer because I can't figure it out. Share, 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 please. I know I'm late, so uh, people might have already came on and gotten off. Oh, shoot. I'm going to share it from my computer because I don't know how to do it from here. But we're going to be talking about um how to start your own t-shirt line custom coffee mugs custom socks custom tote bags um all that good stuff and then i'll take um questions at the end so it'll be like a q a at the end Me. Really? Cordia! wait for a few more people to jump on okay there we go Okay, I'm going to get this shared real quick.
And then we're going to jump in. Thank you. Hand me um, the remote to my fan, please. Okay, so does everybody know what type of um, what type of custom merchandise you want to make? Because you there's tons of different things you can do besides t-shirts. You can do hoodies, you can do half tops, you can do tank tops, you can do hats, you can do coffee mugs, you can do socks, um, tote bags. All those type of custom things you can do. Okay, so. I made these notes and they didn't print out right. <laughs> so. Oh, oh, that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Hopefully I did that right. Okay, so there are tons of different things that you can do besides Okay. No, we're not going to do this again. Besides t-shirts. You can do um okay, So there are You can do custom socks, you can do custom um Half tops, you can do custom, uh, what are those things? The wife beaters, you can do coffee mugs. Um, there's tons of things you can do besides t-shirts. So, does everybody know what type of custom merchandise they want to make? If it is t-shirts, that's fine. Um, this process pretty much is the same for all of that. I never know what I'm doing. <laughs> Every week when I get on here, I just be confused. And then, I think, <sighs> oh my gosh. Um, I think I did something. Okay, whatever. So, does every, is everybody interested in the t-shirt line, or what else do you guys got in mind? There's tote bags, there's um, hats, there's, like I said, socks. I think socks are really cute, custom socks. I had some made for me, like, maybe three years ago when I was modeling, and I had my picture put on the socks, and everybody, everybody was used to always ask me about those socks but I hardly ever see anybody selling them like doing custom socks it's crazy like you should always try to do something that you don't see a lot of people doing so I think custom socks would be really dope um water bottles all that stuff so I'm going to give y'all the top five websites 
to create your um, t-shirts, mugs, socks, whatever. So if you don't have a pen and a piece of paper, go grab one right now because I'm going to be giving y'all a lot of info. I'm about to give y'all the top five websites. <clears throat> Our vendors, whatever you want to call them. So I'm going to give y'all a second to go get. To go get y'all something to write with. Yep, you're already on here. That's weird. Okay, so the first website is going to be Printful. It's called Printful. Um, that is the, the vendor that I use to make my custom t-shirts. Um, I've pretty much only did custom t-shirts. Uh, hold on, I'm trying to get some people's invited. Okay, so I've pretty much only done um, custom t-shirts so far, but the process is the same. Oh, I take that back. I lied. I did um, some coffee mugs for myself, so I didn't sell them. Um, I just made the coffee mugs for myself, and they came out really cute. And... Um, yeah, they're really cute. So they, I did like a yellow coffee cup and then I put Boss Babe on there with my uh, picture. So it came out really cute. I was just really testing it out to see how the quality of the cup would be. Um, you just said what? So Printful is going to be my number one go-to for custom t-shirts and and custom merchandise like that. Um, there's also Teespring. That's T-E-E -E Spring. Who the heck keeps calling me? Cut it out. Okay, so we got Printful, Teespring. Um, there's Spreadsheet, Tea Launch, and then Custom Cat. So I know what Custom Cat you can actually send them a picture or a design of what you want, and they will create, um, I wish I had some for you, but I think they're all gone. They will create the uh, vinyl for you, and then you can actually heat press them on your shirts yourself. Um, Printful does not offer their option. Printful is more like a drop shipping um, t-shirt company, so... Basically, when you go on Printful, you would upload your design, you would pick what whatever type of merchandise that you're designing, if it's a t-shirt, if it's a men's t-shirt, if it's a coffee mug, pins, whatever, um, you would pick whatever merchandise you're, you're trying to put your design on, and then you'll just upload it to the design, pick your color, pick your size, and you are done. Now, what I do like about Printful is that they let you order um, sample orders. So, well, you still have to pay. You, I think you pretty much just pay the shipping, I believe. I don't know. It's really cheap. It's maybe like $4 for a shirt when you do the sample orders. Um, but they only let you order three a month. So, my advice, if you're going to do a t-shirt line or whatever, I would order three every month. So that way, you actually have the product in your hands. You can take pictures of the product, upload it to your website, or market it on your social media. And then as your customers order them, you can just go on there and you can order theirs. Or with um, a lot of the, the companies that do drop shipping uh, custom orders, um, you can actually link it directly to your website. So I know if you have Shopify or SD website, you can actually automatically link Printful to your website. And every time you get an order, they will automatically 
create your order, make your order, so you absolutely do nothing. You just create the design, upload it to your Printful account, link your Printful account to your website, and they do the rest of the work for you. So um, how they get paid is, they, of course, they will charge you the wholesale price for the product, and then you put on your website however much you're charging the customer. Um, Printful will automatically take it from your PayPal account, create your order and ship it to your customers. So you literally just have to just upload your designs on there and they do the rest. Um, easy, easy peasy. Now I know those are the only two that I know. Oh, um, what's the other one? WooCommerce, I think does it. WordPress, if you have um, your website on, Word, on WordPress, they also will link to your to your uh, Printful account. Um, I use Wix, and I've I haven't seen that option, but I haven't looked for it either, so I can't say yes or no if if Wix will um, integrate with Printful. Um, but I wouldn't link my website on there anyway, just because I have a lot of other things on there besides Printful, so it. It would just be too difficult for me to do it. But if you're just going to sell those types of things, then you, the easiest way to do it would just be to automatically link your website to it. And then, bam, it's you're done. Like, you can be selling products in your sleep. Your orders are already put in for you. You're paid. The uh, vendor is paid. And voila, magic. So, so I gave y'all the top five drop shipping websites for t-shirts. Everybody get those. Everybody catch those. So now the top five um, apps that you're going to use to run your t-shirt business is going to be um, Instagram. Now, I highly recommend anybody that has a website where you sell products, or even ebooks or anything like that, I highly recommend that you link your Instagram to your um, to your page because that is how you create the shoppable pins. Well, you actually have to link it to your Facebook uh, business page. So let me let me explain this a little easier. So like my Instagram um, flawless closet boutique. Right, so I would link that to my Facebook Flawless Closet Boutique, and that way I can make shoppable pins on Pinterest. I mean, on Instagram. So you guys know when you're when you're scrolling down and you see that little dot come on people's picture, you can tap it and you can automatically buy right from Instagram. You like you don't even have to go to their website. You can just automatically tap on that, put in your information, or it will send you to their website. However, they have it set up. So I highly recommend that you set your websites up like that. It is so easy. Um, and then even with the coronavirus, uh, when that first started, Instagram did a lot of things for businesses. Um, like they gave us the gift card option. So, for, so now if you go on a lot of business pages, you will see um, that they have a gift card option. And it's like, bam, as soon as you come on their Instagram page, you see the gift card option. So um, a lot of people have been buying gift cards that way. So that's just a, you know, a way to, to get a few bucks. But again, you have to, you have to link these things to your account. So Instagram would definitely be one that I recommend uh, for anybody that is selling merchandise. They have a few other things as well. Um, like if you have over 10,000 followers, you can automatically uh, put your link in your stories. You can automatically tag your product in your stories. Um, so all they have to do is swipe up and it'll take them directly to your website or to the product. Or if you link the product in the store, you just touch that little sticker thing. It'll have like the product in the picture. You just touch the sticker. And it'll take them directly to your website, to that product. They can put it in their cart, check out, just like that. 
less than less than three minutes literally so instagram has a lot of good features um facebook also has the um the shop so if you have a business page on facebook and you sell merchandise or um, digital products or anything like that definitely set up your facebook shop um, because that way people can shop directly from your facebook page they don't even have to leave facebook they can shop directly on your page put their payment in or PayPal or what have you and they can shop and never have to leave Facebook at all. So I definitely recommend doing that. Canva is a really big one. Um, Canva is how I make all of my designs for my t-shirts. Um, so definitely check out Canva. It's free. Um, however, some features you do have to pay for like if you like want a premium picture or premium like but it's free like i used it free for like three years before i started uh, paying for this subscription and the subscription is only like ten dollars a month um the only reason i started even paying ten dollars a month because i pretty much could do everything everything for free on the website but they got a they had um added an option where you can take the background out of any picture in like two seconds like literally i know you could do it with photoshop but i can't figure out how to use photoshop for the life of me so that option i really needed like you can just upload your picture click the remove background it does it for you and it's done in like two seconds so that's the only reason i started paying the ten dollars other than that everything was free um you can make low, your logos on there, all of your social media content, all of that. You can make all of that on there. Um, and they have so many templates. Oh, my God. Like, so many. You can create create um, ebooks on there, ebook covers, just all types of stuff. So, I use Canva to create the designs for my t-shirts. Uh, so, definitely check out them if you're not already. PayPal, I recommend PayPal for any 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 business. Like PayPal is the GOAT. Like seriously. Um, not only does it protect you, it protects your customer as well. So when people try to file a dispute, I always love PayPal because if you have shipped their order, then they're just shit out of luck. Seriously. Um I think I've probably only lost one dispute with PayPal. Um, and I wasn't even tripping tripping on it because it was half my fault and half the shipping company's fault. Um, so what had happened was the shipping the shipping company took my customer's order to the wrong address. And yeah, that whole situation. So I had lost that dispute because it did show that it was delivered to the wrong address so whatever um but everything else paypal always uh, when people file a dispute paypal always gives me gives me my money so so yeah i actually just had a customer oh my god y'all people are grimy people are grimy i had a customer make like a 238 dollar order so after i i could tell she's done this before too because she found a dispute right after i like a, a day after i updated her tracking number so what she was trying to do was since i had already shipped it who's in my driveway sorry oh ah. i wasn't expecting hold on <laughs> who's at the door So get out. Your other piece of mail is in Courtney's room. Um, dang it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I could tell that she had done this before because what she was trying to do was, since since I gave her her tracking number, she knew I had already shipped it. So she was trying to, she was so she was trying to get her order 
and get her money back, right? But she probably knew that if it said that the package was delivered already delivered to her house, then she couldn't get her money back. So she hurried up and filed the dispute before it was actually delivered to her address, if that makes sense. But I've had a few people try to do this in the past, so I've caught on. I <laughs> Sis wasn't getting by. Sis didn't get by on me. So what I did after I got the notification that she filed the dispute, I went right on my phone, logged into DHL, and intercepted the package. So I changed from I changed her address to my address and had her package sent to me. Right. So y'all will never believe this heifer. <laughs> y'all will never believe after the package was delivered to me, she emailed me, literally emailed me going off talking about she never got her package and it was delivered to the wrong address, an address she's never heard of. Y'all know what? I didn't even bother to answer her. I didn't. Because, girl, you know you filed the dispute. You know you was trying to get your money back and this stuff for free. So it went up. I just let her talk to herself. She... <laughs> But yeah, you got to watch people. You got to watch these people. You got to be quicker than that. So while we're talking about that, what I recommend you do for people like that is when you put in your orders with the drop shippers, put in their address, put in their address, you know, so it gets shipped to them, of course, but always put your phone number and your email address. Okay. That is important for two reasons. Uh, well, for one reason, <laughs> because like, like I went on there and was able to change her address to my address, you have to have the phone number and the email address has to match. And it's always going to be yours if you leave it like that. So that way you don't have no problems. If you need to call them, you can call them, give them your phone number, your email address, bam. So please remember that because you will have people try you, Okay. Remember, put their address, but it's your phone number and your email address. Because when you have people do that, they will try to they will get the money back and then they'll have your merchandise and you'll be taking an L all around the board. So remember that, y'all. Please, please, please. Um so yeah, PayPal. Um then MailChimp. MailChimp um is a big one that I use. So MailChimp is an email service, it's also free. Um, I think you can have like up to 10,000 email, email addresses added on there and I'm nowhere near, near there. So I won't be paying anytime soon. I think I only have like 2000 email addresses on there right now. Um, so with MailChimp, what you would do is when your customer goes on your website, you should always have a pop-up box for them to put in their email address. Um, that way you can email them your new arrivals, you can email them discount codes, all that stuff. So just always make sure that you have an email, an email system set in place. It's, it's crucial, very, very crucial. Say your uh, Facebook page gets, gets hacked or gets taken down or flagged or whatever. So now you have no way to reach those those potential customers that you had. If you have your email list in place, you still are able to reach out to those people and to those customers. Um, what's next? We already talked about Shopify. Is who I recommend. For your t-shirt business. Let's see, what else? Your social media accounts. Always, if you have a business on Facebook or Instagram, always use the, the business option. Please, please, please don't make your business page a personal Facebook page. Just, just don't. <laughs> um, for one, because the business accounts come with so many dif different features. Like I said, you can link your um, Facebook business page to your Instagram business page and people can shop directly on either site. You can set up a Facebook uh, shop. Um, 
what else for the business accounts when the coronavirus stuff came you know they they were giving out loans facebook gave out loans to businesses instagram gave out loans to businesses um like i said they ordered they added the gift card option to our, um the business instagram pages uh what else did they do they had a lot of features on there y'all i i personally didn't even look through all of them um and I actually just recently set up the gift card option because when it first started, like they had sent they had sent me like the notice, like your account qualifies for the gift card option. And I was just like, okay, whatever, I don't want to add it. But then as I was scrolling down Instagram one day, I seen a business page with it, and I was like, yeah, hey, I need that on my page. And I'm like, duh, they asked me if I wanted it, and I clicked off of it like the dummy. <laughs> so I did add it a few days ago because it was like like it was so neat when I seen it on the other business page like you literally where it says um, I don't know it's like right there when you click on on the page so I added that um, but yeah they did a lot they did a lot they gave out grants and they gave out loans to business owners um, they did the, what was it called? The PPE loan? Is that what's called? PPO something loan for businesses. Um, you know, the one that uh, Ruth Chris got $8 million for that. Uh, what else? So, yeah. Always set up a business account if you have a business. Also, you want to set up a business account so you can see your insights. Your insights are going to be super important super important like you can look on there and see when when is the best time for you to post like when is the when is the best time that your people are on your page or your people are scrolling social media when is the best days um like i know on my instagram my best days are thursdays and i want to say sundays i'm not sure but i know thursday between 3 and 9 p.m is when my my art my audience is on Instagram the most. So I always post on Thursdays between those those times um, to get the most engagement. So look on there. It will tell you if it's mostly men, if it's mostly women. It will tell you their ages, like the age ranges. Um, it tells you all of that stuff. So make sure. So make sure um, you guys always have a business account and that you're looking at your insights. Otherwise, if you're not getting a lot of engagement on your business pages, check your insights and see. Maybe you're posting at times that your audience e isn't even on there. So if you're an early bird and you're getting up and you're posting at 10 a.m. and your people ain't even up and on your page at 10 a.m., you're basically posting to ghosts. Nobody is going to see it. It's going to get lost in their feed. Um, so check your insights so you're posting at the best times. Um, another thing is when you do t-shirts or, or uh, coffee mugs or stuff like that, don't wait. You don't have to wait until you get the merchandise in your hand. You can actually create mock-ups on the uh, website. So I know Printful you can for sure. Like you can create... Um, the t-shirt mock-ups so it will actually show your t-shirt on a real person um i personally use a different app than printful for my mock-ups only because printful always has ugly people on their <laughs> modeling the stuff i promise y'all like the black girl they got on there is whooped like i'm like really y'all y'all can't find nobody better than this like the black girl they got that's modeling the t-shirt, she's whooped. And then they have a Chinese girl. And, like, I just use a different... I use a different app to do my t-shirt mock-ups. Because Printful, they, they're not right. They're not right. Or you can also do flat lays on there as well. Which a flat lay is just, like, they'll show the t-shirt, um, like, laid, laid on a, a background with maybe a pair of jeans and a pair of sunglasses or something like that. So you can do flat lays on there um, as well. So you can do that. And then, like I said, they give you three samples that you can order a month for you. 
Um, so I would definitely take advantage of those three every month, if you, especially if you have different designs that you're coming out with. So that um, when you get your samples, you can take pictures in your shirts. You can have your friends take pictures in the shirts, your family. Or you can order, you can keep one for yourself and then sell the other two. Because it's, it's the same quality that your customers are getting. They're just giving you a discount for, I guess, using their site. I don't know. But always utilize the three that you get, that you get for free uh, because you're only paying shipping for them. So I think for three shirts, I usually end up paying like $21, something like that. And then, like I said, you keep one, you can sell the other two, or you can um, just get three different designs for yourself so that you can model, model them and then, you know, get orders from your customer that way. So with if you're going to do the mock-ups, you can go ahead and, and create your mock-ups, start creating a buzz around your t-shirts um, if you want to keep them on hand you can do it that way also so you can do the mock-ups um, bam start promoting it like do pre-orders so you can it usually takes them maybe about I don't know six to seven days for you to get your t-shirt so I would do pre-orders and let people know bam these will be i'm only going to have 20 of these they'll be in monday go ahead and get your pre-orders in because once the 20 are gone they're gone right so create a buzz around it um what is my daughter out there doing she didn't even tell me she was coming over today okay so um you could do that you can Go ahead and set up your social media accounts and, um, you know, just interact with your audience. Let them know what you got going on. You can share your t-shirt journey with them. Uh, you know, let, let people know you're starting a new t-shirt line. Let them know what type of uh, designs you'll have. Ultimately, when you're selling t-shirts, you are selling a culture. You're selling an emotion and a feeling. You're not selling a t-shirt because that's not fun. Nobody just wakes up and be like, yeah, I want to buy a t-shirt today. So you, you're you selling a culture, really. You're selling a feeling, an emotion, like the t-shirt, whatever you have on that t-shirt. Somebody is, when they look at it, if, you know, they know if they want it or not. Like, they know. Because like I said, nobody just wakes up and is like, yeah, I want to buy a t-shirt today. So... Keep that in mind when you're designing your t-shirts. Like, keep that in mind. Like, how are, how will is this design or this this um, wording or how is this going to make people feel? You know, why would people want to buy this t-shirt? So, yeah. keep Always keep that in mind. You're selling them an emotion with your t-shirts because... It's a t-shirt, right? It's a t-shirt, right? So you have to stand out. You have to stop them and give them a reason to, to get that t-shirt. Um, also, you can sell, like I said, hats, phone cases. Um, you can do custom phone cases on some of those apps. Um, tote bags, home decor. They do. Printful does now have home decor. I forgot all about that. Um, they don't have a lot, but they have a few things. So... <laughs> So it's not going to be like a lot where you can start a whole store and like, yeah. But they did add add a few things. Um, let me think. What home decor did they add? I can look real quick. If y'all got that type of time. So I'm looking at that to see what type of home decor they added. Let's see. Um... We talked about the fulfillment companies. We talked about Canva for designing your products. I know a lot of people use PicMonkey as well. I don't really like PicMonkey. It's also a free app. Um, but they don't have nearly nearly as much stuff as Canva does. Not, not even close. So, I don't use PicMonkey. It's literally a waste of my time. Um, let's see. Oh, 
Oh, also, if you don't want to um, create your own designs, you can go to Fiverr um, and you can have somebody else cre uh, create your t-shirt designs. So you would just tell them what type of design you want, what wording you want on there. You can send them a picture if you want and they'll design it for you. Um... I know this, this is usually pretty cheap. Like, you can find somebody to do it for $5. because It's called Fiverr. Um, but if you want, like, a good quality design or something that's going to be, you know, kind of difficult to make, you may get up to, you know, you might get up there to $20, $30 for something like that. But keep in mind, even if someone does charge you $20 or $25 to make your design, you're going to make that right back when you sell one t-shirt. So, it's definitely worth it. You'll make that right back. Um, what was I looking for? Oh, they're, um, they're, uh, I done typed in Fiverr. Shoot. So, yeah, it's definitely worth it. If you're one of those people who don't really know how to design, um, who don't really, you know, know how to design your own uh, designs, or if you just don't want to do it, um, go on Printful and look for, for people to make your designs for you. Uh, let's see. I think I cover everything on my list. Y'all got any questions? Any questions? I need to check my orders on here while I'm on here. They've been moving kind of slow since the um, the coronavirus Printful has. So, I got orders on here that I need to see if they have shipped out yet. But normally, normally, uh, before all this... They would get my orders fulfilled within three days. It usually would be three days, and my customers would have their shirts within within a week. Now, it's taking them like a week to even fulfill my orders. See, yep, I got two orders still waiting on here that they need to do. Okay, so I was looking at the home decor, what they have. Let's see. So they have 232 products on here that you can actually customize and create. That's a lot. 203. Um... Okay, what am I doing? No questions? Oh my God. Okay, maybe product catalog? <laughs> Okay, so they have men's um, t-shirts, men's polo shirts, men's tank tops. Um, they have jackets. They have hoodies, sweatshirts. They have leggings. They have shorts. They have joggers. They have women's t-shirts. 
Um, I think they took the half tops off. I do think I got an email about that. So they have skirts, um, leggings, shorts, dresses, swimwear, sports bras. They have kids' shirts, baby bibs, um, baby bodysuits, baby swimwear. They have hats, visors, snapbacks, five panel hats. What is that? I don't know what five panel hats are. They have mesh hats, beanies, bucket hats. What are bucket hats? I gotta go through here. <laughs> all I do, all I make is t-shirts on here. I didn't even know they had half of this stuff. Um, I think I've made me a hat on here before. Um, I've made a coffee mug on here before. Let's see what else they got. Oh, I've made um, backpacks on here before. I made a bag on here called the Ho Bag. <laughs> when I first made those, a lot of people actually ordered those. They're like overnight... Um, what do they call them bags? Um, the spend the night bag. But mine say a whole bag. Um, they got laptop cases. They got fanny packs, backpacks, iPhone cases, Samsung cases, bracelets, necklaces, flip flops, socks. Um, for the home decor, they have coffee mugs, stickers, pillows pillowcases, um, wall art, all that. Oh my God, they got aprons now. They got bean bags now. Y'all gotta get on here and do some stuff. Cause I didn't even know they added all this stuff. Like I said, when I come out here, I usually just do my t-shirts and I'm, I'm off of there. So definitely check them out. Go through this list. They got everything that you can make custom like if you have a business stick your logo on there and sell them things or create like a, a little slogan and and um you know put it on some of this stuff and sell it definitely all right y'all so that's all i got that's all i got that was that was painless right really easy I think I covered everything. Y'all don't have no questions, so we are done. We are done. All right, y'all. Well, thank y'all for watching. We will be back again next Sunday. Always at Sunday. Always Sundays at seven o'clock. Um, I don't remember what next week's topic is about. I completely forgot. But the flyer is already made, so I'll probably start. Um posting the flyer tomorrow but right now i can't even remember i made my i got my flyers made for the next three sundays so that i wouldn't even have to worry about that so um so yeah for the next three weeks the topics are already picked and the flyers are already made i just don't remember right now but thank y'all for watching um Again, recommend your people to my page. If y'all have any questions afterwards, just leave them down in the comments. I always check the comments and I will answer them for you. And yeah, that's it. I'll see y'all guys, you guys next week.